everybody, Ben Campmeyer here. I have the amazing privilege of serving as the lead pastor at Corinth Reformed Church in Byron Center, Michigan. And I'm, I'm really excited to be with you for Whiteboard Wednesday, specifically to continue this short little three-part series on leading into uncharted territory. And I want to tell you especially why. It's because, as you already know, you are invited to come and participate during a, a special day at our church, Corinth Reformed Church, hosted by Luminax, where Todd Bolsinger, the author of Canoeing the Mountains, is going to be teaching us all kinds of good things about leading into uncharted territory, going off the map together. His book has has been really influential on me as a leader who's trying to do that very thing, uh, lead change, lead into uncharted territory. And today I, I want to talk about something that is a little bit more personal when it comes to the idea of being a the kind of leader that brings about change, leads into uncharted territory. And it's the reality of knowing that leading into uncharted territory won't allow the leader to get out unchanged. And so this is something that Todd Bolzinger talks about in his book called Transformational Leadership. He defines it this way. He says, transformational leadership happens at the intersection of the three functions of a leader who leads into uncharted territory. Those functions, probably ones you're familiar with, he calls them technical competency. Obviously, are you, are you good at your job? Are you capable as a, a leader or a pastor? Relational congruence, essentially, are you the same person you are on and off the platform as a leader and then in the one-on-one -on -one conversation or even with your family? And then lastly, and this is what I want to focus on today, this thing he calls adaptive capacity. See, leaders who engage transformational leadership styles, their job is to bring an organization, a group of people, or a church along into a new normal a new day, uh, an off-the-map, uncharted season, and to help those people adapt to that. And the thing that I think any leader that's tried to do that before comes to realize is that if you're going to ask people to change, you also, as a leader, must be willing to change. If you want to transform your church, you also must be willing to be transformed. It's an incredibly personal part of this kind of leadership. And it's biblical, too. It's something that the Apostle Paul talks about in that familiar verse in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, that if anyone is in Christ, that person's a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. And so as uncomfortable as it is, there is something comforting that happens in the midst of that kind of leadership. And so I want to leave you with this. If, if you're trying to go grow in your adaptive capacity as a transforming leader, try, trying to uh, be a transformational type leader, a couple things that you can consider. Number one, this kind of thing is going to happen to you. If you want to take your congregation, your group of people off the map, you can be sure that you're going to be forced to change and grow and develop. You'll rely on the Lord as you experience relational difficulty with people that, that you love, maybe in your church or your organization, but they want to uphold a status quo. So just know this is a part of the system of transformational leadership. And then secondly, and, and lastly, maybe most importantly, it's a gift. And I think it's worth remembering that. I love one of the things that Todd Bolzinger says in his book. He says that the kind of change that happens both for the leader and the organization off the map, it's unique. It's what happens when you decide we're not going to live in the status quo anymore. So embrace it. Enjoy it even that this is one of the ways that God is changing you and growing you to be the kind of person that he's called you to be in Christ. And so that's the idea. That's transformational leadership at its best. It's what happens to the leader. You can't change a people without expecting to be changed yourself. Looking forward to having you there. We'll see you then.